I already went over the brand new Helix weapons, Ubisoft added to Odyssey around the launch of the new content, but there's also a new hidden free weapon on the island that you might have missed, just like some engravings, a Valhalla item, and way way more. Some items like the getaway garb and the Origins outfit cannot be missed, just like the sword and dagger I also touched on in a previous video, but there is actually another legendary weapon on the Corvu Island in a legendary chest. And via the portal in the map menu you can travel back to this new island and then we want to head to the pirate warehouse which in the small village on Corvu and one of the chests in this location is namely a legendary chest. Climb all the way to the top of one of the buildings which is over here and then you find the chest for the second side bow. The look is not unique, just like for the other three legendaries, but it does come with an interesting perk. You namely increase your headshot damage by 200% in exchange for minus 100% warrior and assassin damage. So what I did is I immediately put the convert 50% 100 damage bonuses to all damage engraving on this weapon from the Atlantis DLC episode 3. So I still got some extra warrior and assassin damage. Although, truth be told, on the Nightmare difficulty, I was still able to do some decent melee damage. But as like a hunter playstyle, you mostly just want to use your melee weapons for adrenaline regeneration. So, using a dagger is actually great for that. Like, you totally notice the headshot damage increase if we, for example, look at the health bar of the enemy with and while not using the bow. For abilities, it's then smart to use ones where you can, of course, aim for the head, so like the devastating shot. The damage increase is very noticeable with this ability. Predator shot is of course nice and rapid fire from the legs of the first blade DLC and then aiming for the head is a really great combo too. For armor engravings I focus on the vents so you can easily stay alive on Nightmare, parry enemies to get adrenaline and you got a pretty solid hunter build without really focusing on the crit chance and critical damage. But you can increase this even more with a brand new engraving they also added so want to look at that, more engravings a Valhalla item and a unique Corvu set. So of course, if you like the video so far, then leaving a like on it would really help me out. Subscribe for more Assassin's Creed content. And now let's look at this brand new 100% headshot damage, but plus 50% adrenaline consumption engraving, which you also get on the new island very early on, actually. Like, I don't think you can miss it. It's part of like an early main quest where you interact with the pot to finish it. And by the way, quick side note, the issue where you could not see all your engravings at the blacksmith has been fixed, so you should be able to see the full list again but brand new perks added with the recent patch do still not show up in the stat page so i hope they take a look at that and there are some other minor issues but i'm sure we will see like a patch in 2022 but yeah even though the engravings are not showing up in the stat menu they still apply to your gameplay and you totally notice the extra headshot damage but having the extra like adrenaline consumption does mean that using for example the rapid fire ability nukes your adrenaline down insanely fast. So it's really about do I want to use fewer abilities that deal more damage and also focus more on the basic arrows or do I prefer to use more abilities instead? I personally prefer the latter but I can totally see why you would use this engraving. So there are five of these new engravings in total all linked to a new Osterka and if you got all of them then you also complete a brand new quest called a kind of treasure. And they get a marker near the starting area of this content where you find a chest on the beach and opening this one gives you the raven response naval skin for your ship so yes the valhalla look for the Adrestia. I think this already makes it worth it to go after all the Ostracas, but again, every single one of them also gives you a brand new engraving. So we need to find the tablets first and then go to the location as hinted at by the small message. At the Forgotten Runes, you can find a tablet, so that's over here on the map. And once you got it, we want to go all the way to the top left of Corvu, where you get the Flaming Attacks Duration Increased Engraving. So then the ability duration goes from 20 20 seconds to 60 seconds which on paper is pretty wild but it's only really good before you kill the mercenary which gives you the mallet of the everlasting flame because then you get the weapon damage become a fire damage perk. 
So then you don't even need the flaming attacks ability anymore. Although that weapon damage become fire damage perk of course only applies to the weapon that it's on. While with the flaming attacks it of course works on both your weapons. So it kind of also depends on your playstyle. We got a similar engraving from the tablet at the temple of Poseidon which over here on Corfu. After getting that you want to go over here close by. There are some snakes take them out. And then you can claim the engraving. And this increases the duration of the Venomous Attack ability also to 60 seconds. I tried if it also applies to the Blessing of Cronus. Which of course the enhanced version of this ability. Sadly not the case. Like that would have been great. Apart from that same story as with the flaming weapons. Nice if you use the ability often. Otherwise meh. More interesting is the 100% all damage minus 100% all resistance engraving. You find the tablet over here at the farm on top of the building. And the solution to the right close to where you end the story content of this island. So yes 100% all damage is great. But the minus 100% all resistance is really impactful. This instantly means that building melee resistance is useless for example. As the max you can get is like 90 or 100%. And yeah, that will always be negated. So you really want to have a build where you can be untouchable most of the times. Like using the DigST set for the unkillable mode after getting hit, which lasts 15 seconds. Then doing a lot of overpower attacks where you chain to different enemies and are unkillable during that time. And... Sure, there are other tactics as well, like then you can totally benefit from the 100% all damage and then the minus resistance doesn't really matter. Overall though, I would say the 100% more damage is not worth the minus resistance. Last but not least is an engraving for if you want to go full healing on hit. You get the engraving from the tablet over here, from the quarry, and then you want to head over to the vineyard over here on the map. Where you can complete it and then you get the 2% damage dealt and blocked converted to health. But also a minus, so this time 25% all resistance. And personally I really like the many ways you can get health back in this game. But I do think that rocking the Amazon set and then having the mastery levels which gives you some nice percentage already is more than enough. Like I am full health in no time. So the extra 2% does not really make the difference and... It's especially not worth it because you do lose that minus 25% resistance. Which just makes it way easier to get one shot, especially while playing on the Nightmare difficulty. So I don't think this one is worth it. And after beating the new Corvu content, you also get unique epic items. Some decent perks and nothing too special. The look is also not new. Only the chest is interesting because it has the chance to ignore half damage perk, which is unique on a chest. Like, it doesn't come on a chest otherwise so totally hold on to this one and by the way shout out to t7 pdm for highlighting this epic set in his video because i otherwise totally would have missed it subscribe for way more Assassin's Creed content if you haven't already a like on the video would really help me out and totally check out my video on those new helix items by clicking on the screen for now though i will speak to you in the next one goodbye